What's going on guys and gals, Fitzy here. Doing a little fishing today from the bank, river fishing. Fishing my hometown river, the Oz. Um, got a few hours, got one rod, got an ultralight, and I'm starting off with a Helger mite on there. So, should be some uh, smallies in here. Not any big ones, most of the big ones will be out in Lake Ontario now this time of year, but we should get some small ones, maybe some rock bass, maybe a sheep head. Uh, who knows, you never know in the river, so. Uh, Stay tuned, we'll see what happens. There we go, got one. Got one. Little dude. Little smally. On the Helger mite. Little guy. There we go, another one. About the same size. That's a rocky. That's a rock bass. Fish number two, rock bass. I'm a Helger mite. All uh, right, we got uh, three hookups, landed two fish, a smallie and a rock bass out of this little area right here. We're going to work our way up the river until we hit the dam, hitting some spots on the way. Let's do it. So I used to fish this uh, off of this island years ago. I haven't fished it in probably literally 25 years. I used to fish all the time as a kid and then in my teens, early 20s. But uh, it's a lot more overgrown than it used to be. Actually, there used to be a trail right in there. But it doesn't get traveled much anymore. Looks like it's still there. Like a little trail slash dirt road. But it's pretty overgrown, so we're just staying right here on the wall. And we're going to go straight to the dam. And then maybe work our way down the river from the dam. Okay, here we are at the dam. They got this all fenced off now. We got a nice little set of stairs right here. Like I said, we used to fish this all the time as kids, man. Ride our bikes down. I only lived about, I don't know, 15 minutes away from here by bike or by walk, really. Oh, that's a fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. Thought I had a snag. Ah, uh, he's right. Ah, uh, come on, buddy. Thought I had a snag. I was just about to turn my camera off. And try to get down in there to get the snag out. We got a nice smallie on there. I don't have a net. I didn't bring a net because I got to wear this PFD thing. I guess I could have clipped in that to the... There's a clip on the back. Come on, man. Nice smally. Come on, brother. Come on, let's get you right on. Right over here. Come here, come here. Come on. That's a little bit. Looks like I got him pinned pretty good. If I'm in there, there we go. He's not super huge, but that's a nice small mouth right there. Smallie number two, not a huge one, but he's probably a 14, 15 incher, man. Beautiful smallmouth in the river. Love it. Love it. Let you go, buddy. Sweet. There's another one, came right out of the rock. That's a rock bass. 
he came out of the same rock underneath the same rock that I just caught that smallmouth a little, a little rocky so again just to show you what I'm using here I've got a five and a half foot ultralight it's a Shimano Shimano sense of light it's a fast tip five and a half fit ultralight rod and the only thing I've been throwing so far is the uh, Nico Helder mite so we're gonna continue to throw this it's catching me fish I didn't really plan to switch it up unless I wasn't getting anything with this but if we're getting bites don't fix it if it ain't broke so There we go. Ah, lost them again, man. All right, we're heading back up here. We're gonna try right around the actual dam itself. Ah, oh, cut off. All right, we lost the Helger mite, so I'm gonna throw this little white uh, marabou jig with a little pink orange head. Well, we got that uh, nice small way up at the dam. Missed a couple others. We're going to head back down to that uh, first spot that I fished. I just wanted to come out here for a couple hours. I only had a couple hours to fish, so... Try to get one more, and then we're going to call it. Okay, we're back to that first area cast it out still got the white marabou jig on there with a the little orange pink head one more fishy at least let's do it There we go, got one. On the marabou jig. Nothing huge, but we got one. Again, not expecting huge smallies in the river this time of year. I used to fish this all the time, back in the day. Beautiful smallmouth though. Gorgeous smallmouth. But uh, next year I'm going to fish this late uh, spring. The big smallies will be in from Lake Ontario for spawn. So, All right, folks, I'm going to call it uh, a couple hours out here. Got into a few bass, and I got to fish my old childhood stomping ground. So as always, take care. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.